This is the Chinese bag. I have no idea what could be in here. <laughs> There's no way for me to do this without laughing. But the pockets are just free floating. I don't think that would keep me from wearing it. I do feel the need to warn y'all. <laughs> These unboxings, these get weird at night. So I do have another jacket from Time and True. We hope they can redeem themselves. This does come in two different colors. I ordered the lavender as well as the cream. The cream is in one of these boxes, but why I picked this purple plaid was there was a jacket on Revolve that they styled with a purple turtleneck underneath it. It looked really pretty. It also has threads of burgundy. So if you've been buying burgundy this season, it would look lovely layered with that. I think it could be styled really nice if you're into a pop of color, but it also comes in that neutral colorway. I'm very curious to see what this looks like on because I remember from the photography, this looking like it swallowed the model. So we will see, but it is, it does have this nice notched collar, has side pockets. Feels really nice too. So I like this so much more than I would have thought. I mean, I, I knew online that it had nice styling, but just the colorway on this is so much prettier in person. I know I'm gonna love this layered up. I see myself wearing this with a big scarf. It is a boxier style though. So keep in mind, I am wearing a plush, more bulky um, little Sherpa zip up underneath this and I still have plenty of room. That is the style. This is definitely more oversized, like you can see in the shoulders. So I am curious to see what this looks like with just a turtleneck or a more fitted layer on underneath. And this is a double breasted style, by the way. It is so pretty. But this is not a style that's gonna go in at the waist. This is gonna be straight all the way down. And yes, I do have more Fair Isle. This is a bright Fair Isle scarf from No Boundaries, I believe. And I do remember this coming in a neutral, maybe black and gray, black and white version if color isn't your thing. But the color on this is so fun. This hot pink and orange, I would love this paired with a pink sweater. This hot pink sweater is from my recent Old Navy haul. If you guys missed that video, I will link it below. A lot of fun holiday brights. There's some neutrals in there too, but I quite like this scarf and this is on sale for under $10. Okay, so what's in here is the jacket, but in the neutral color. Oh, this is pretty too, y'all. Oh my gosh, this colorway is so pretty. It does have the same buttons. I'll go ahead and throw it on. I really have no idea which one is my favorite. I really like them both. It really just depends on, are you neutrals girl? Are you a color girl? But I got both of them in the same size. So that same oversized fit, this is a good one. All right, so in here I do have some Love and Sports little fleece matching sets. These came in four different color options. I'd actually already picked up these pants in black. I wore them to the airport. And what I liked about them is they are a fleece jogger, but they have cargo pockets. So I decided to go back after it in the lighter colors. What a good light tan color. Again, the more subdued logo. It just has the little ampersand on the cargo pocket. It does have a black draw cord for the elastic at the waist. You do have zipper pockets. And I did pick these up in a medium because I wanted to make sure the pants had more of an oversized fit. And I did pick up the matching top so that you don't have to wear these together, but do I have a type, you guys. I do like a soft little half zip pullover style. Both of these colors, so I got it in the cream as well as the tan, both of these colors do have black zippers and it is a quarter zip style. You have this elastic bungee at the bottom so you can cinch this in more if you want to. And this does have a little silver hardware detail. And because this is more of an athletic style, it does have these kind of hidden zipper pockets on the side. And I really just like the black lining detail. So I'm probably gonna wear these the most with my flare leggings, throw them on with blue jeans. And I did pick up both of these in a size small. And in this bag, I have lots and lots of Muckluck cabin socks. So I ordered a four pack and what they sent me was two two packs, which is great to know if you wanna split these up for gift giving. These are $13 for all four. That's a great price. You can divide these up even further. Think about the girls in your office, teachers, just anybody that you wanna give a little something to, or you can make this a part of a larger gift. And these are really nice quality socks. They are cozy goodness on the inside. They're fully lined and they do have this non-skid grit bottom, which is really nice because sometimes we don't wanna be in socks. We're worried about slipping and sliding, but they have that extra touch. 
Mucklucks do come in a short, a medium height, and a tall height. I believe this pack here is the medium height. These are a bestseller for a reason. Keep them in mind for gift giving, and they do come in other colorways and patterns. All right, and now on to our big box. So first up in here are these Scoop sweater bodysuits. They do have kind of this modified sweetheart neckline. It's a long sleeve style. They do have a split at the wrist, which is just a fun little detail to it. I picked this bodysuit up in a small and it does have snap buttons to get in and out on the bottom. I am expecting like all bodysuits for this to be very fitted, to lay nice and smooth and I did also pick it up in the gray. And you can see more of the details here in the gray. They are a sweater material, and these are gonna make a great layering piece. And also from Scoop, I have these rhinestone sweaters. They are a little kind of similar to the time and true one that I showed at the beginning of the video, but these are more smooth than ribbed, and they have this peekaboo detail at the shoulder that I think is going to be really, really pretty. Has a nice feel to it. I'm expecting this to be more on the fitted side. I also picked this up in a small, so it's available in this winter white, this creamy color. And then it also comes in black. I think it's more limited in the black, but if you're looking for a touch of a holiday sweater, these are gonna be very pretty. And if you're familiar with Free Assembly's classic button down shirt, they did do it in a holiday plaid. So this is a red and green plaid. It has the exact same styling as the solid ones that I already have from Free Assembly. You have this front pocket here. It has a shirt tail hem, and this is gonna look great paired with green trousers, red trousers, to have this on under a blazer. If you're just wanting to go holiday in a button down, this is it. Okay, so if you remember those satin black trousers, but they also came in two pattern options. So I did order the navy flower pattern. I was hoping this was gonna have the pajama look, the satin pajama look that I'm seeing dressed up all over Instagram. If you haven't seen that trend, women are taking their satin pajamas and dressing them up, throwing them on with heels, having it on with a trench coat. So I'm gonna give it a whirl with these, but this is the exact same trouser pant. I'm not sure if it's coming across on screen, but in person, this looks really nice. And then I already kind of forget what the matching top looks like, but I'm assuming that it's just a button down. Yes, so this is just a silky matching button down. I think this is definitely giving a nod to the satin PJs without having to actually go in public in your PJs. And this next sweater, I hope I like because it is a really good deal. This sweater is on sale right now for less than $15. And it's from that RD style that I've ordered a few sweaters from in my last couple of videos. But what I liked about this sweater was the print on the front and this fringe detail on the sleeve. This looks like a much more designer sweater, especially much more than $15. It does come in a couple of different reverse colorways, but I thought I was gonna have the best bet styling this in black. And just first impressions, the sweater has a great feel to it. It does feel like it's gonna be a heavier sweater. It does have this thick crew neckline. And I did pick this one up in a medium because I wasn't that familiar with the brand. The other sweaters that I've ordered from RD Style were fine in my regular size, so I maybe should have sized down in this but I don't think it's a style that could hurt to be a little oversized. I think this would look really cute, especially with some black jeans. And next up, I do have a pair of Scoop shoes. These are some Scoop snow shoes, which I've had really good luck with Scoop shoes being very sure-footed. And these are so pretty. So this is a black and white style. It is a bungee style in the front, but it does also have a zipper on the side to get in and out of. They have a great, really trendy lug sole bottom. I don't often say this about a snowshoe, but I think these are really pretty. These come in whole as well as half sizes. I got these just in my regular size nine. So I'll leave a note on the screen about how I feel like they fit. And I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but I thought these were gonna be black and white by the photo on line, but they are definitely more of an off-white. What does look like the photo though is this quilted part is actually puffy. I'm very happy with these. Of course, I haven't gone running around in the snow in them, so I would love to know if you guys have had good experience with scoop shoes in the snow, but these are absolutely adorable and they're currently on sale for $35. So the top that I bought to go with those black trousers that I shared at the beginning of the video is this one here from Scoop, which actually came 
quite nicely presented. So this is a halter style. It does have this matching rosette at the neck, which has been a very fashionable style. So this is gonna be a pullover style, and I'm sure this is one that you're gonna have to wear with a strapless bra. Maybe you could get away with some sticky pasties on this. And it's definitely a dressier top, but I can also see myself dressing up a pair of jeans thrown on with a block heel. I could definitely wear this with a blazer. Actually, I think it would look really great with some of those velvet blazers that we've been seeing. And we have made it to our last item of the video. So let's make today's secret emoji be a Christmas tree. I'm be inspired by what's behind me. So leave a Christmas tree below for me in the comments so I know you stuck it out with me the whole video. But our last item is this holiday red top from Free Assembly. If you're familiar with the rest of Free Assembly's winter launch, then this is the same fabric as a lot of their dresses they've been doing. It almost feels like a taffeta. It has a lot of structure to it. And this top does have a seam that goes all the way across. It also has a keyhole in the back because it has this button closure. But what makes this look a little more fun and festive definitely has to be this peplum sleeve is what they're calling it. So it does have this major flare out at the sleeve and I'm not sure if it's coming across, but it actually has this pleat detail I think this is going to be a super universally flattering top. I think you could wear this to a lot of different occasions this holiday season. So it does come in this bright red. I know a Christmas plaid and it might even come in black and this top is under $25. All right, y'all, that is it. That does wrap up today's Walmart unboxing. It wraps up today's Vlogmas video. If you've been enjoying Vlogmas, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. All of these items are gonna be listed below in the description box, as well as over on my pinned comment section. And I will see y'all in the next one.